other moves in the Eastern Conference. The Sixers made their big move yesterday, acquiring, acquiring Tobias Harris from the Clippers, but they weren't done. Philly moved Markel Fultz, the number one overall pick in 2017, to the Magic in exchange for Jonathan Simmons, a first-round pick coming by way of OKC and a second-round pick from the Cavs. So Markel Fultz, they have uh, obviously moved on from him in this experiment and, and whether or not he could ever get that shot back. And the, and the Magic take a flyer. Uh, what do you think about Orlando having a go here at Markel Fultz? I hope he's ready for his opportunity because he's going to get one. The, the Magic do not have a franchise player at the point guard spot. Markel Fultz is going to have the reins, it, it sure feels like. Uh, and he's got, you know, sort of out of the spotlight now because it is Orlando. Mm -hmm. So he's got a couple months here and next season to have his mind right and to have his game right. You know, I don't know how long a leash they give him. Even if he Probably even very long. <laughs> yeah, mean, it is Orlando. Play, there's not a lot of expectations for him to be great right away in Orlando. There's even talks that he still might not play this season. Mm -hmm. I would be a little worried the Magic don't have a great track record of developing perimeter players over the past few seasons, but uh, just to, once Jimmy Butler was acquired by the Sixers, you knew that Fultz was going to be traded yeah. eventually. At least he's going to a place where he's going to get a chance to play. Yeah, I guess he'll be out of the spotlight down there. No one's really expecting big things from him. But uh, it's kind of weird that the, Cel that the Sixers, it just didn't work out for him there and they've given up on him because they traded up to get him. Mm -hmm. It cost them another pick and now they've flinged him off for Jonathan Simmons, who also, I'm very surprised, things weren't better for him in Orlando coming from San Antonio, who do, do develop players really well. Yeah. And now he's sort of... He is on struggling to hit the three ball yeah, he, whatsoever. He's struggling, yeah, so it's a bit of a like, all right, let's just try and see if a new situation can help these teams out. But I don't think anyone's really expecting a major uh, change from, from either team. Again, the Sixers' big move was yesterday against mm. Tobias Harris. We talked about it on last night's show. But they got some wing depth today in getting James Ennis and now Jonathan Simmons, and they're going to see what these guys can do for them. Yes, here's the Harris trade from last night that we got into. That, that's their big play here, and yeah. then it was the Raptors getting Marcus All, and it was the Bucks getting Nikola Meritich. I mean, the Celtics didn't do a whole lot, yeah, but maybe in the bio market. In fact, the Sixers got a first round pick back. Actually, it's not bad, yeah. really, because I think Fultz, uh, I don't think it would have been a huge market for him. So. Heavily, heavily protected, Still, hit, but yeah. a first round yeah. pick nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. Jonathan Simmons was great for San Antonio, playing some D in the postseason a couple yeah. of years ago. That's why he got that big contract in Orlando. They're desperate for bodies. And they're desperate for defenders. They're a really good offensive team. He could play if he's ready to play. Sure. All right, got to take a break. Lots more still to come here on tonight's trade deadline special.